हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ अ नोमेट्रिक कंट्रोल वाल्व इज ऑपरेटेड बाय पी एल सी डी सी एस और अ कंट्रोलर वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस सिग्नल ट्रांसमिशन इन पी एल सी पैनल टुडे इज वीडियो इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर इंटरव्यू पर्पज सो डोंट स्किप द वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द नोमेट्रिक कंट्रोल वाल्व ऑपरेशन वी मस्ट नो द पार्ट्स ऑफ अ कंट्रोल सिस्टम The main part is controller. Mainly two controllers are used. The first one is PLC DCS controller, and the other one is PID controller. These controllers are used to control the process. Here the main point is the controller is used to control the process automatically, and its output is four to twenty milli ampere to control a pneumatic control valve. now see the other part of control system electronomatic positioner or pneumatic positioner the function of electronomatic positioner or pneumatic positioner is to operate the pneumatic control valve electronomatic positioner or pneumatic positioner is an actuator for pneumatic control valve electronomatic positioner is operated by 4 to 20 milli ampere signal let's see the next part of control system control valve operates automatically by pneumatic signal to control the process control valve is the final control element in the process control another part is sensor or transmitter sensor or transmitter is used to measure and transmit the process signal the process signal is transmitted as a feedback to the controller and the another part is process process is one for which the parameter is to be measured now see the control system diagram the control system diagram is explained by animation 4 to 20 milli ampere signal is given by a controller This 4 to 20 milli ampere is provided to electronomatic positioner. Sometimes we use I2P converter and pneumatic positioner in place of electronomatic positioner. The output of electronomatic positioner or pneumatic positioner is a pneumatic signal. The pneumatic the pneumatic signal from a positioner is feed to control valve. Control valve maintains the process parameters like level, flow, temperature, pressure, etc., etc. A transmitter or sensor measures the parameter, and its 4 to 20 milli ampere output is provided to controller as a feedback. So note that the output of most of the sensor is 4 to 20 milli ampere signal, but some sensors like RTD, thermocouple provide output in ohms and millivolts. ohm millivolts are not what to 20 milli ampere signals here you can understand the instrumentation control system in a more easy way the main aim of using a controller is to maintain the parameter on a certain value this certain value is known as set point for the process now we will discuss control valve operation from plc dcs panel when you are working as an engineer or as a technician you must know about this the key points for the control valve operations are the signal to operate a control valve is sent to the terminal block in plc dcs panel via analog output card or analog in output module This signal is 4 to 20 milli ampere signal and provided to positioner. Then positioner position the control valve according to the signal. When control valve operates, it maintain some parameters. Suppose it is maintaining the pressure, the measure signal, or we can say the measured pressure from sensor is sent to analog input module in PLC DCS panel via terminal block. analog input module send this feedback signal to plc dcs 
PLC DCS send command to operate the control valve according to this feedback signal. So this is the overall procedure to operate the control valve from PLC DCS panel. So this was our video. Thanks for watching. Do like and share and do subscribe and please press the bell icon for more updates.